Peace family, welcome back to our Credit Healing channel. Today we want to discuss a topic that we think is very important to you because for those of you who love to spend during the holidays and most Americans do spend during the holidays because that's a part of the culture as well as all over the world because people love to give um, and also people love to re receive as well. So we want to discuss a topic that we think is very important to you because you should know about it, especially if you're going to do this this year or next year. And we're going to raise a question and then we're going to answer it accordingly. So the question that we have is, how does holiday credit card spending affect your credit scores? Now, for those of you who say, well, I know how it affects my credit scores um, because I always monitor it. Well, that's good for you and I'm happy. But those of you who do not know how it's going to affect your credit scores, we want to teach you about it because we don't want for you to be negatively impacted based on just trying to follow the culture. And so now for those of you who are utilizing credit cards during the holidays and a lot of times banks before the holidays, they want to offer credit cards because they know that people are going to spend the other banks. They don't offer credit cards before any holidays because they don't want for because they know that people are going to basically, you know, spend all the money and most likely they won't pay it back. So it all depends on the lender. However, for those of you who like who love to utilize credit cards, it's important to be very mindful of your credit utilization or your debt to credit ratio. And so the reason that we say that is, say, for instance, if you have two thousand dollars on, uh, you know, on both on two credit cards, right? You have one thousand dollars on one credit card, a thousand dollars on another credit card. And you say, for instance, both amongst both credit cards, you spend two hundred fifty dollars here and two hundred fifty dollars there. Right. So that's five hundred dollars in total. Now, if you have two thousand uh, dollars on your credit card, which is a two thousand dollar credit limit and you utilize and you spend five hundred dollars, therefore, your debt to credit ratio or your credit utilization is twenty five percent. Now, that's fine. Right. So staying under thirty percent is really where you want to be. Now, if you're not being mindful of your spending and you're just spending, 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 and then you go above 50 percent what's going to happen is that your scores are going to drop down tremendously they're going to drop down a lot depending on where your scores are right now what's going to happen is that your scores are going to drop uh, it could be 50 75 100 points depending on how much you actually spend so now you have to work your way up and you have to try to pay those credit cards back because if, if not you're going to have a lot of interest that's going to basically appear um and you're going to have to pay the interest back so what we recommend you do is before the holidays, have a holiday budget. For those of you who may not have a holiday budget, have a holiday budget based on how much you're able to spend or how much, uh, how what your credit uh, is, what your credit is for your particular credit card. Because if you have, say for instance, a higher credit limit, $10,000, then you, know, you can utilize $2,000, right? So it's only 20%. So you don't want to go over 30%. Now, if you do, you have to pay it back. We recommend that you pay it back in full, right? So after the holidays are over, go ahead and pay it back. Therefore, you're not spending any additional money in interest. And then, you know, your score is going to go back to where they were before you did that, you know, before you spent the money. You don't want to have to worry about uh, where you're going to get money from to pay your credit cards back because now you're in the hustle and bustle and you have to try to figure out a way to make ends meet and as well as pay your credit cards back and then all of a sudden five six months down down the line your credit card it gets charged off because you haven't been paying on it so you don't want that to happen and so we want you to avoid that particular pitfall in terms of you know spending too much during the holiday season by utilizing your credit cards and not being mindful of how much you're spending as well as your credit limit because your credit is important if you're spending this particular money uh say for instance before the new years and you want to buy a house um in february or march then it's best to not spend as much or as freely as you otherwise would because now before you go and you start the home buying process 
what's going to happen is that you know you're going to have to try to pay those credit cards back because the underwriters they're going to look at it and they're going to want you to pay it either in full or down to where it's, at. it's not too high and then by you paying it down it's going to increase your credit scores a lot all right so we, you know i really love that okay so we greatly appreciate you taking time to watch our youtube videos if you have not already please subscribe um here with credit healing we're going to offer more content every day 365 days a week a year all right so we greatly appreciate you all taking time to watch our youtube videos if you have not already please subscribe uh, we're going to be releasing videos every single day 365 days a year seven days a week for you to teach you how to build your credit and if you have derogatory items on your credit report and you need to get them removed feel free to go to our website credithealing.org or if you have any questions please contact us at credithealing at gmail.com peace